People are always asking how to shape dough in Rose's Perfect Pie Plate, and today's a perfect day to do it because it's so cold, that's why I'm wearing this vest, that it's 60 degrees in the kitchen, and that's such an ideal temperature to roll dough. So here is this dough that I just rolled out on the dough mat, 14 inches in diameter, and to transfer it, see how beautifully it folds, it's just like cloth. Okay, and now I'm going to center it over here in the pie plate and always to ease it in so that it doesn't stretch. Okay, this is um, now easing it into this pie plate. It would work the same way for any pie plate, but because this has an extra large ridge or rim, I do 14 inches, otherwise it might be 12 and a half. Now here's the part that's not tricky, but that you have to see done. And that's that you fold underneath the excess dough. So we want a big border because this is a nice big rim so you get a lot of extra pie crust along with your pie. I really like a thin pie crust on the bottom so it stays crunchy. And I'm going to pre-bake it because this is an open face apple pie. So I'm going to go all around but I'll just show you right now. Once I go around what I do, and I'm always easing it in, easing it in, is to press it into the edge and that way when it they always shrink a little and that way when it shrinks back it will be either even with the pie plate or it will be slightly in showing it either way is really pretty but that this is how you do it and then you put it in the refrigerator I like to let it relax for a half hour or so and ideally I put it in the freezer because you can bake right from the frozen and let it sit for an hour or even overnight and that's it I'm just going to continue around the edge